that's an amazing okay. gastronomical experience. Oh, the passatelli. Yeah, yeah, lovely, lovely yeah, food. And it all complements each other and it's a great experience. Oh, thank thanks. you very much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Beautiful. Thank, thank you. you. My pleasure. This family is amazing. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks. Hello my friend, thank you for stopping by. I'm gonna explain these uh, passatelli, how they are made, uh, they are very nice. Here I'm going to grate my parmesan into the Thermomix. Thermomix is uh, from uh, the Warwick uh, company, it's very famous now all around the world, but you can use uh, and, um, any, any other kind of um, parmesan, even already grated. I'm adding grated lemon, I'm adding nutmeg. For the world recipe, please, uh, and breadcrumbs. For the, the world, uh, world recipe, please, uh, go to uh, below, and um, it's posted, it's posted in, in the video, below the video. I'm gonna add uh, the eggs, and uh, I'm gonna add a, a bit of flour. The flour, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to do that. And uh, you are going to use the flour just to get everything stick together, blend together. So in the Thermomix, if you use the Thermomix, there is a function that says uh, blend, do, do. So this is, this is what I'm using. And um, the blade, in this function, the blade is goes up and down, up and down, it stop. It, it makes uh, the perfect dough. So as you can see, I've got the dough ready and I'm gonna finish the mix by hand. Okay, and here is where um, I'm adding the flour. So it's important because I'm using this uh, means mixer, I mean, uh, the, the meat mincer. So it's important that you have a firm mix, not very bland, firm. Uh, soft, here I'm adding flour, you see? I'm adding the flour. The mix it has to be workable enough that it have to pass through the means, mm, the meat mincer, and has to be able to come out from uh, the wall, the holes of the means mincer, meat mincer. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So I'm got the dough ready. I'm making this uh, and it's sticky. You see, I show my hands, the dough is sticky. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and um, so I'm putting together this machine. I saw people making with um, other tools, the, the potato mincer. I mean, I find myself more um, easier, more easy to do. With, uh, with this machine. There is electric as well, and um, you can have the electric one. It's not, uh, if you go on eBay, you can buy very cheap. There are so many people don't use it. It's, it's cheap and it's a nice tool to get in the house. So as you can see now, and um, you have um, the dough coming up from uh, out from the machine and um, you decide how long they has to be. My grandmother, Maria, used to have um, this size and I keep going doing this size all the time. Too long, I don't think is good. I don't think. Uh, you, has to be, you have to be able to eat them uh, with the fork or with the spoon, with the spoon, sorry, with the spoon. And uh, you can have them smaller, very small. You can have them very small. And um, they, if you eat uh, with a uh, chicken stock, maybe they are easy to manage. And um, passatelli are amazing. Now I'm recording this video. We are in the winter. We are in the winter and we are in Scotland, very cold. But when I was in Italy, we used to um, uh, sell them in my restaurants a lot uh, has a um, with lobsters or king prawns um, mix all the best thanks for watching remember please 
to like and subscribe to the channel. Ciao!